Hello friends and welcome back to Bitfumes. In this episode, we are working on the queuing system of the notification. So in the last episode, we have created the notification. So let's now work on queuing system because if I go here, if I refresh, it will take some amount of time which will be very irritating for a user to send an email in the background that will be a great task so let's just see how we can queue this system so you have seen that it will at least take 5 to 10 seconds to uh, send an email that means it's loading for 5 to 10 seconds this will be very drastic system for your system so let's just go to sublime and i will open my notification which is task completed notification and here i will just have to say implements should queue and obviously it is already used because Laravel will know that if you want to use email system for notification you should use should queue oh wow should use should queue okay <laughs> so we have used this and obviously we are using queuable trait so we get various functions along with this so you don't have to do anything but if I try to go and try to refresh, again it will take 10 seconds almost because we have to configure our queue system. So I will go to .env file and firstly what I want to change, the queue driver. It's synced here, this means it's not going to queue anything, it's syncing. So I will say database, so database and that's good and we have created the queue driver as database this means queue will see the database or get the task for, from the database so obviously we have to create a new table for our queue system so what i will do i will simply say php artisan and let's just see the results so we have this queue table artisan command so let's just run this queue table and this will migrate and yes we have created the migration and only the migration it's not migrated yet so let's just migrate php artisan migrate and yes it's successfully migrated so yes we have the jobs table in our database and now it will surely work let us see the result so let's go here and give a refresh oh no it's not doing anything why maybe we have to restart our server as usual so let's just break it restart it and bro you have to stop yeah <laughs> so now let's just refresh ah it's not doing that because it's not started the server what happened let's just serve it yeah so let's refresh yes you can see instantly instantly it's refreshed and this means if i clean up this we don't have any <laughs> yeah we don't have any email in our mail trap inbox let's just go and just give a refresh in the no time it will refresh no delay and just in a few seconds we should expect email but why our email is not here let's just go to our jobs table refresh we have three jobs we have to dispatch these jobs so obviously to dispatch these jobs we have to start a queue work so i will go here just like we have done queue table we have to start a queue work it's just like the server which will on constantly running so this queue worker has to be constantly running so if you are on server that means your project on server then you have to configure this queue work and you can see first task is proceed second is processing it will proceed uh, processed in just a few seconds then third also so we can see we have two and third also here so let's just clean up here this means our jobs table is empty if i go here and give a refresh no time refreshed clearly we should get but maybe i think yeah it's here and if i go to here you can see it's processed and our jobs table is empty this means we have 
here <laughs> great it's very nice and because we are using queue system we can delay our process so this means if i go to uh, where is that queue notification we can delay this so just use this delay function let's just go here on the web.php and i will say simple thing called delay uh, this will work no may i think i have to use that one that one is great yeah so let's give let's give delay and wrap all these things in a new parenthesis and let's just grab this one and this one here and that's not minute i want to show you so i will say seconds so let's just give 10 seconds and now we have to grab this carbon at the top so carbon carbon and what happened okay so this parenthesis is not to start from here it will start from here okay that's good and now if i go to chrome and here and let's just refresh refreshed then go here and then task is here so seven six five four three two one and yeah you can see just processing is started in just 10 seconds so this gives a delay of 10 seconds so it is processing now and in no time it will process that means we have new email here and these things are very cool so you you don't have to do anything everything is now set up by level and you just have to configure these things so in the next episode we are going to see how we can change manipulate the email template we are sending to the user as a notification and if you have not subscribed to my channel please go and subscribe to this channel because this gives you the knowledge of laravel and laravel related things so we will meet in the next episode till then don't forget to subscribe like bitfilms on facebook twitter and instagram bye bye